we're here again. You know, we talked about Sonic the Hedgehog, and, you know, is it good? Is it bad? Does it look funny? Well, I've been waiting. And the preview's here, and I'm late dropping this. Let's actually take a look at it, though, because I am I'm interested, to say the least. Okay, so this is my first time seeing the preview. So we're going to watch the preview together. I'm probably not going to do a trailer breakdown, but we're probably going to talk about it as we go. So it's probably going to be a trailer breakdown. So let's watch. Let's see what happens. All right, so Green Hills. Did y'all catch that? So we have Green Hills. What a callback. There it is. There's your callback to the original Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're in Green Hill Zone with a beautiful rainbow. And he gets 760 miles an hour. Okay. Green Hills Department. Okay. Sega Entertainment, I would assume. Let's go back and take a look at that. How many shoes has he ruined? And why are his hands... Okay, so he has burnt the hell out of all of his shoes. And he's not wearing gloves. He's got white hands. I kind of wanted my Sonic to have gloves. It's weird. I guess that goes with the coloring of a hedgehog, though. I don't know. I'm not a zoologist or anything. Let's continue. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Did he really just say gotta go fast? Fast? No! Mm, okay, we're memeing now. Now now we're in the realm of memeing. Okay, but Gangster's Paradise, really? Alright, I don't think it deserves that. 20 minutes ago, an energy surge knocked down power across the entire Pacific Northwest. This needs someone who can figure out exactly what we're dealing with. You're not suggesting who I think you're suggesting. We have no choice. What the? Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. No! Nope. I'm wrong. Wait. I'm in charge. Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stone? The doctor thinks you're basic. Listen, pal, I don't know if you realize who... I'm sorry, Major. What was your name? Benny. Nobody cares! Okay, Jim Carrey. I like how he is portraying Ivo Robotnik. <laughs> is it Ivo Robotnik? I think it's Ivo Robotnik, but he, how he's portraying the uh, soon-to-be Eggman. <laughs> Dude, nobody cares! Okay, this looks like Jim Carrey going back to his comedy roots. That was beautiful. Uh, so far... Couple of cringy moments, let's keep going. SFPD! Uh. Meow? Ah! Oh, come on. Okay, pal, I want answers. Basically, it looks like I'm gonna have to save your planet. Okay. I okay, so basically I'm gonna have to save your planet. Don't know what that's all about, but let's talk about this Sonic Spin Dash right here. That was really cool. I could watch that, that over and over. Got? No, but thank you for asking. Uh oh. Whatever this creature is, our job is to secure it, neutralize it, 
see what makes it tick. So apparently this is going to... Oh boy, he's putting the quill on his tongue. So apparently from that line, I'm going to assume that this is the first time that Robotnik and Sonic have ever seen each other. Assumption. All right, let's continue. Okay, hold up. Let's back that up. Did he just use a... He did. He used a ring. Let's see if I can get right on the frame. He used a ring as a warp. I mean, that's how you get to the special stages to collect the uh, Chaos Emeralds in Sonic the Hedgehog, but... So far, I'm digging the cast. I like what they're doing with the cast. Um, Sonic, in my opinion, doesn't look that bad, but we're going to go through the whole trailer. I, I made a mention to one of my friends on Facebook that the cast doesn't bother me. Sonic looks okay. What What's starting to freak me out a little bit is where's the story going to go? And... Uh, I'm starting to get worried, but let's watch. Every hero has a Genesis. Haha, -ha, like Sega? Look at this! I took nine million steps today. That was funny. Um, couple of callbacks that I'm noticing. The Desert Zone from Sonic 3. Um, I think that was called the Pyramid Zone. Green Hill Zone, I saw. So every hero has a Genesis. I'm thinking like Sega Genesis. And look at all these, uh... Look at this! I took nine million steps today. So they're kind of taking Sonic to the level that we would assume now they would take a hero that is speed based and they're having him do like time stops he's faster than the eye can see um i kind of dig the fact that he has a step counter i didn't think a step counter could keep up with sonic but there you go uh some callbacks to the video games every hero has a genesis green hill green hills that was that was the most apparent one all right, let's watch the rest of this and see. Stay in there and be quiet. How much longer? I can't breathe in here. Do you have your child in that bag? Oh my God. No. I mean, yes, it's a child, but it's not mine. It's not your child. <laughs> Smells like body spraying an old ham sandwich. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like there might be some craziness going on there eventually. I don't know. Uh, so far, what I'm seeing is kind of promising. Uh, again, there were a lot of those callbacks to the original Sonic games. We're going to have to wait for November to see. It looks like there's going to be some comedy in there. There's definitely going to be some high-paced action. There's going to be some callbacks to the original games. That's what we wanted. 35-year-old me wanted that um, from 1991. That's when I got my very first Sega Genesis. Still own it, by the way, with all the Sonic games. So, I mean... Let's see. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I've been kind of weary about this movie for a little while, but the fact that there's going to be some humor, I don't know what it's rated yet. Uh, let's take a look to see if it has a rating. So currently, the film isn't rated, but with some of these... <laughs> with, with some of these jokes and some of the comedy, some of the humor, I think if I had to guess... They're going to make this PG-13, and I'm kind of hoping they do make it PG-13 because you can do a lot with a PG-13 Sonic movie. I don't think we should discount this movie yet, and the reason why I say that is because it does have a good cast. I'm worried about the story. Things look good. The CGI look clean 
for a first trailer. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna hold my breath though because I was really excited for Mortal Kombat Annihilation and oh man do I uh, regret that that movie was ever made. Yeah. So I think Sonic looks good. I don't think he looks terrible. I think it looks like a Sonic the Hedgehog that's going to look like a Sonic the Hedgehog if you were to try to ground him more in reality. The only thing that kind of makes me feel like, what the heck, he's got a white belly here instead of uh, the more flesh tone, because these, these two tones are supposed to be the same. And he's got the white hands. And he's got the white hands, and to me that's weird. The belly and the hands are white, and I don't know what color his feet are, because, well, they don't show him without shoes in the trailer, so... I don't know, and apparently, from, from what I'm understanding in the storyline from IMDB, the storyline, they're not giving us a whole lot. A cop in the rural town of Green Hills will help Sonic escape from the government who is looking to capture him. I mean, that feels like it's Sonic Adventure. Feels like it's a Sonic Adventure story, which, again, is not a bad thing. Um, so, at first I was really worried about this movie, but I think I'm going to go watch it. I think I'm going to go watch the movie, see what it's about in theaters, give my thoughts on it. It looks like it's going to be fun. I can't guarantee it, but Paramount Pictures doesn't do a whole lot of bad movies, but... There aren't really good video game movies out there. Not a whole lot of them. My favorite one that's ever been in existence is the original Mortal Kombat movie. It's still not a great movie, but it's still okay. So, we'll see. I'm looking forward to November. Y'all may agree with me, y'all may disagree with me, but that's where we're at. And uh, we'll see you all in the next exciting episode of Whatever Brain Candy Has Going On next time.